Bios och Investemid in Stockholm and with me I have Idogens acting CEO Kristina Herre. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, how would you briefly present Idogen? Idrogen is a Swedish biotech uh, focusing on trying to develop uh, tolerogenic cell therapies, which is quite a novel area. So we're in the, the front of uh, research when it comes to doing something new with cell ter- therapy. And you're now starting the first clinical study within mm-hmm. the IDO8 project. How big step is this? That's a huge step. That's a huge uh, milestone for the company. It's going to transform the company from being a preclinical to a clinical and also eventually to start validating us in clinical our new platform. So the other programs will be helped by this. And how many people would be helped by your treatment in the IDO8 project? <laughs> oh, I, I don't have the exact number, but... In, in with the um, severe hemophilia patients, about 30% are, are um, developing um, uh, inhibitors or so-called, so-called inhibitors that are antibodies. And we, we see that we would be able to, to help those that would uh, develop inhibitors or actually even to prevent those from developing. It's often young people when they initiate their, their factor eight treatment, they start after a year or something to develop uh, these inhibitors. But eventually I think we can even prevent them and, and give our cell therapy together with the initial factor eight. So, so it could vary from, from uh, the starting point quite limited to a, a broader uh, audience that could be used. And how how would you view the um, potential in your other two projects, IDOT and IDOAID? I think they could be, (laughs) depending on, of course, IDOT. We know it's a huge amount of patients that do get organ transplantations. Our focus would be to start uh, with the kidney transplantations. And we know that there's about 100,000 kidney transplantations every year. But of course, there are many other organs that are transplanted as well. So, So it's very hard to say exactly where we will end up. Uh, and for IDO, AID, it's more a group of autoimmune diseases. So again, it varies. It could go from very small number of patients and orphan drug focus to, to larger uh, uh, patient populations. So it, it, it's, it, it will show itself, I think, when you start doing these programs and after having validated the IDO-8 uh, ther- um, cell therapy. Interesting. And you were recently appointed acting CEO in Idogen? Yes. What's I, your I priorities? Joined, uh, I joined the uh, 1st of September, but I've been sitting in the board and working in the board for five years before that, so I know the company pretty well. And my priorities is really to come in and, and get things delivered during autumn now. So I have a very focus on starting the first study and getting that to start and make sure that you can recruit more patients and then as um, any other company, you have external activities, both uh, financing as well as partnering, as well as uh, uh, communication to the outer world. So, so it's very, but it's very much narrow focus right now to get the study started. Thank you for joining us today. Mm, thank you.